Welcome back to Epic Airsoft HD. This week, we've got the Real Sword Type 97B. And we're back again with another Real Sword gun. This time is something pretty damn unique. This is the Type 97B. This is currently in China's military. Uh, it's used by those guys all over the place. This is the shorter version, the B version. Uh, not shorter by much, but it does feature this nice front end, much like the P90. So let's go have a look at some of the other features of this gun. The front flash hider here is made of steel. If you guys don't know about real sword, you really should know by now. This stuff is completely solid. Uh, the, the plastics and the metals that you use are all from the real gun. So basically this is a real Type 97 b that's been gutted out and all the stuff that's been put in is for a working AEG. Uh, that's fantastic, that means you're getting a sturdy real steel replica with the benefits of it being airsoft and that your friends will stand back up again after you shoot them. So uh, again, more features of this gun. Lots of stuff up the front end here. Some crazy machine work on there. It's absolutely beautifully done. Uh, absolutely outstanding quality on this gun. The ABS plastics and the metals in there, like I said, absolutely sturdy. There's no wobbles or creaks on this thing at all. It's so, so sturdy. Uh, features M4 magazine. Uh, if you guys are running M4s, then you just go out, you buy this gun, and you're already ready to rock. Uh, mid cap comes with the gun. Pretty awkward though to get your magazine out, I had to figure this out a couple of times. Magazine release there is under the forearm of your right hand. So you reach under with your left hand, when you get your gun up, push the button and it comes out. Uh, there's quite a few ways you can do that. This way as well, but everything feels pretty damn awkward. It's not my cup of tea, not really into bull pops, but hey, uh, some of you guys like them. The battery can be housed inside the receiver. Bit awkward to fiddly again there, but uh, I've also found out another way. Uh, inside the pistol grip here is enough room to fit a uh, small lipo in there. That's going to be much easier to change out and less stress with taking the whole thing apart. Not that that's hard to do because the push pins on here are just like the real steel. Type of battery you're looking at is about an 850 milliamp size uh, 7.4 volt lipo. Pretty compact. Uh, probably easier if the cables are cut down actually. I've already split the cable on this. It's just a tiny bit of room in this pistol grip. There's not a lot of room in there, but uh, you can get it done because I've already did it. Accessories for this gun are not going to be a lot. That's the main worry with this. It's not completely modular. You can get a top rail here. It's about 20 pounds from Airsoft World and it bolts on the top. That means you can get your EOTech, your T1s. Hell, you could put an ACOG on this thing. It would look pretty damn cool. Uh, the top sights here are pretty much rear pistol sight and you've got your front sight post as well. This one has been uh, upgraded by Airsoft World. It's got a nice little optic in there. Uh, you'll see that from the close-ups. It looks pretty damn cool and it's really easy to acquire a target down the sight. From ergonomics point of view, if you're pointing that at someone, it's quite natural. Uh, get this nice uh, thumb position grip here. Not on the other side though, so if you're lefty, you're going to struggle with this a little bit. Uh, but nice, nice compact package. Perfect for CQB. FPS, you're talking about 310 feet per second, which is not a lot. If you're going to be using it for CQB, it's pretty damn safe friendly and you're going to be able to walk on with this anywhere. Uh, we'll also test in a range, well, just how much range we can put out of this. Uh, as well, another nice feature is the working bolt handle. Just pop that back just a tiny wee bit and uh, that's as far as it comes back. It doesn't come back more than that, but that reveals enough to get you into your hop up there and adjust that. So. All round, pretty unique gun, some pros, some cons, but let's go out to the 30 meter range now and see how it stacks against the competition. Okay, we're on our 30 meter range just now. Uh, this is the heavy outward vice that we use. Holds the gun nice and steady. Table's a bit wobbly, but like we do all the time, once we go with the actual shooting, Graham there is going to jam it shut and it's going to be nice and stable. Uh, the reason we use the, the vice and not me is that we're getting the gun's accuracy and not my accuracy so it's all to do with the gun and nothing to do with variables as well there's no wind in the factory so the bb is not going to be moved around uh, so basically we're eliminating anything that can affect the accuracy down the range the reason we use 30 meters is rough 
engagement distance and you get an ID as well over the range, the spread. So what we're looking at is the grouping. For this test, we're using 0.25 gram BBs. Nice, good spread down there. We've already fired it, so we're getting a nice tight grouping. So let's see how it stacks against the other uh, guns that we did before. Uh, if you remember our past episode, uh, the Type 56 real sword, it's probably the best gun we've ever tested on the range other than the MP18, it was great. So let's find out how this does against it. First we're doing semi-auto, fire around 10 to 12 shots in this. Okay. Alright, I'll switch out to safe. And we'll go get the target. Okay, now I'm going to switch the gun to fully automatic. I'm going to fire about three or four bursts of full all fire selectors just in the rear here. Again, quite awkward to get to, but you'll get used to it in the end. Alright, let's see what it does in fully automatic. Good rate of fire from a 7.4 LiPo. Alright, let's go have a look at the targets. Okay, let's have a look at those targets. Uh, this gun's got quite a lot to, well, it's quite a lot of expectations from it because of its uh, bigger brother. Um, semi always pretty damn good especially for quite a short gun. Seeing that though, it's built up design, so the barrel length is pretty darn long. Uh, for being a CQB gun though, this spread is pretty damn good. Uh, for a gun that costs £375, uh, it's not bad at all. Uh, let's move on to full automatic. Sometimes we find that uh, full auto tests tend to do better, but it's actually very consistent between semi and full auto. And as you can see, it's actually blasted a hole right through the center of the target. For CQB length gun, that's an excellent spread. That's ideal. That's exactly what you want from a, from a gun this size and this compact. So yeah, pretty good. Well worth the money. If you're thinking about picking one of these up, quite a lot of pros and cons to think about. Uh, magazines though, I've got an e-mag in here, feeds fine. So all your mag compatibility is pretty damn good. If you've got your M4 mags kicking about, yeah, you're ready to go with this gun. Batteries, however, battery compartment's very small and very fiddly. Bear that in mind if you go ahead and buy this gun, you're gonna get need to get smaller batteries or stick batteries here to fit inside the receiver. Overall quality though, very, very high. This is one of the best guns out in the market. In fact, all real swords line up, including the Droganov that we did before and the Type 56. Absolutely stunning guns. But what can you expect from a real steel manufacturer doing an airsoft gun? If you want to check out this gun uh, and how much it's worth, all the accessories, you can click in the links in the description below for Airsoft World. We'd like to thank them again for letting us borrow this gun for the review. If you want to compare it to the Type 96 that we did before and the L85 that we reviewed as well, good comparison of build up design. And if you want to see this gun as well on Scout the Doggies videos, there's a nice annotation here to take you there as well. If you want to see more reviews that we do in future, we do one every single Sunday, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So, let us know in the comments what you thought about this gun. If you liked our reviews and enjoyed them, please hit the like button, it helps us out, and we'll see you next week.